I got a Lily's 18 single blend sitting in my closet right now. I was saving that for when River turns 21, but I'm willing to put it up as collateral. Uh. Now nah, you're talking my language! <laughs> Throws the keys to his truck on the table. She's seen better days, but can she still pull a tree trunk out of the ground? Nope. No. Myself and everyone else take immediate folds. Yeah, the car is bright guy. So it's Craig and Robert on this? Jesus. You sure you guys wanna... You heard the man. Deal. Hi. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Another Shenanigans. My name is Benji. And this is Dream Daddy. Matt just sent us a message here. Let's see what he's got going on. What are your feelings about poker? Poker. Uh, beyond hardly knowing her. Eh. Poker? I hardly know her. There it is. Well, good talk. Wait, I actually like poker. I just saw the joke and I had to take the shot. Please, Matt, I'm a dad. I'm contractually obligated. No, no, I get that. Anyways, been playing uh, weekly poker games. I figured I should send you a invite you in well. <laughs> and invite your way. Sounds great. I love losing money. Cool, dude. See you soon. Lose that money. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm not great at poker. I enjoy playing poker. But especially, uh, especially if I, uh, if it's not actual money on the table. Because I'm not, no, 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 no. Playing just to play, fun. Uh, I hate losing money. <laughs> Matt invited me for a poker night at Joseph's house. Put my going out coat and walk over. Across the way, I spot Matt who's walking from his own house. Got a case of beer under his arm. Crap, I should have brought something. Hey, hey man. Crap, I should have brought something. <laughs> No worries, man. It's your first time. Just bring a full wallet. How long have you guys been at this for? Years, buddy. Just a nice way to keep in touch with the guys. Never really high stakes. Ah, uh, Brian's here! Pass through the fronts and closing Joseph's backyard. Craig, Brian, and Joseph hover at the patio, drinking beer and chatting. Robert sits in the corner, brooding as usual. Benji! Glad you could make it. So am I. I'm psyched to take all your money. Just like old times. Craig's the resident shark. I prefer the term person who's good at poker. Oh, I'm all aware. Craig's always been suspiciously good at poker. Are you still as terrible as you were in college? Tell the truth. I am still terrible at poker. My tell is a sustained childlike giggle. Hey. There's no way you're as bad as Joseph. Joseph shrugs. This is basic, basically my to thing. I'm giving back to the community. Yeah. Plus, I'm happy to just sit here and eat O'Brien's snacks. Yeah. Guess who brought pigs in a blanket? <laughs> Not Craig. Oh. Hey, my chia seed and granola energy bars are just as delicious. <laughs> Everybody laughs. <laughs> just get the game going. Oh. Do I actually have to play poker? Please don't tell me I don't actually have to play poker. <laughs> I'll take a seat at the table and Matt starts dealing cards. First couple rounds go by easily as I'm getting the hang of things, but it's obvious that Craig is running the show here. Craig, how did you get so good at this? Pretty easy, you just start getting a feel for everyone's tell. Like, Matt has a scratch his ear. Hey. hey. Brian adjusts his pants when he's trying to lie. Hey. Now wait a second. Oh. I think you just loudly announce the whole room when you have a good hand. Yeah, yeah, that's, yep, oh. yep. <laughs> What's Joseph's tell? Everything. Literally everything. That man is an open book. He couldn't lie if he tried. Well, at least I have God on my side. See, you can't even say that with a straight face. What about Robert? I say Robert doesn't have a tell? Honestly, the man's an enigma. Greg raises a glass of whiskey to us in a solemn salute. I think he'd wipe the floor with us if he actually tried. I'm just here because I enjoy the company. Gotta remember, Robert's trying to be more social. Pulls out his phone and stares at it. Robert, is that a flip phone? Oh. Yeah. Nice. What, are you a drug dealer now? Oh. Yeah, what do you need? Horse? Speed? What the fuck? Mm. I can get you the street stuff easy, but if you're looking for something exotic or a designer, maybe 72 hours on a favor called, maybe I wouldn't need you today. Maybe I won't need you tomorrow, but someday. Oh, I don't really. I think I'm good. All right. Hey. <laughs> but still, if you got the corn, I got the goods. What the fuck, Robert? <laughs> I drop my phone in the toilet and there's my backup until I can get it replaced under warranty. Everyone murmurs their sympathies. We've all been there. 
to go back to playing. Gotta stop eating those pigs in a blanket. Pigs in blankets? I don't know. But they're very good. I think there might be cheese in them. Oh, I don't know if I got enough to raise you on this round. You can always bet your firstborn. I think you can handle another one, be my guest. Briar and Hazel are a handful, to say the least. But you think three kids is a handful? Try four. I'm operating at 100% dad capacity at all nice. times. Actually, it's technically five. Christine saw a commercial for one of those dolls that poop. Wouldn't stop asking for it. We ended up getting it for her birthday. But she's so grossed out by the fake baby poop that she makes me change his diapers. So I'm now changing the real baby and the fake baby. Yeah. There's a lot of poop in our household right now. Daisy got one of those a while back. One night I walk in after her, she tried to take the doll apart to see how the poop mechanism worked. She couldn't put it back together and started crying. Poop everywhere. <laughs> fake poop, but still. That reminds me of... Wait, do we all have poop doll stories? Everyone nods in agreement. <laughs> Guys, I really don't need any more poop in my life than there is already. Can we just get back to poker and not talk about poop? Matt deals another hand and we for quickly forget about the poop. We run out of pigs in the blanket, so we switch over to Craig's healthy snack food. It actually isn't terrible. Hmm. These kale chips are phenomenal. We could sell these at the coffee shop. Oh. My own recipe. Be happy to give it to you guys. Oh. I can see it now. Uh, pierce the kale chips. Hmm. Mm. Hey. Here's the veil of the popular post-hardcore screamo band out of San Diego. Well, look at Matt, confused. Oh, man. It's, uh, maybe not in your wheelhouse. <laughs> How's the shop nowadays? Busy as ever. I'm toying with the idea of hiring another person to work the counter, but I haven't found a good candidate. Hmm. Hey. If Amanda's looking for a summer gig, let me know. It's really nice of you, but I think she's going to be burned too badly by coffee shops before. Literally, not figuratively. Matt cocks his head to the side. I'll ask you, though. Got to the final hand of the night, and it's Craig in the lead by a landslide. Joseph's long since lost all the chips. Has been taken to tidying up, refusing to help any, from the, any help from the rest of us. Brian deals us all cards. <laughs> so what's going to take for Robert to give a, guy a damn in this round? Robert looks from his half-empty glass of whiskey. You Do you really want to unleash the beast? Well, now I'm curious. Got a long history of being a gambling man. But I only do it if it'll make you interesting. Ah. Uh, none of this penny chip nonsense. I got a Lily's 18 single blend sitting in my closet right now. Was saving that for when River turns 21, but I'm willing to put it up as collateral. Ah. Now nah, you're talking my language! <laughs> Throws the keys to his truck on the table. She's seen better days, but could she still pull a tree trunk out of the ground? Nope. Oh. Myself and everyone else take immediate folds. Yeah, the car is bright guy. So it's Craig and Robert on this? Jesus. You sure you guys wanna... You heard the man? Deal. Aye. Then Brian deals the next round of cards. Craig sticks daggers into Robert, who casually sips his whiskey. So I know you might be thinking. Uh, Robert put his old work harness up for grabs. The only mode of transportation. At times in his life, his only home. How could he be so sure of the, pos of the abilities in Gambian? But you know right now, Craig, it wasn't always like this. A lot like you. Smart, talented, cocksure, my own luck. Big biceps. It didn't last long, though. Lost everything in a gamba... I'm a pro butcher that pie gal in the back room of a Shenzhen tea house on what I thought was a three-day business trip everything gone everything gone clothes money identification you name it I woke up in a ditch near I don't I near the park I'm sorry I'm sorry near the park I had to make my life new from there it took me three years to beg borrow and steal my way back to American soil and in those years I saw the greatest depths of human fear love deeper than I ever had Lost it all many more, more times over. Get my own death, Craig. I know how I die. Not like this. So let's make this more interesting. Nice. Robert produces the deed to his house from his jacket and tosses it on the table. All I have and all I am. I'm prepared to go the distance. Craig wipes the sweat from his brows. He studies Robert's face intently, searching for any sort or tell that he can find. Robert casually sips his whiskey again. 
I fold. Everyone erupts. Fine, fine, the whiskey is yours. That's why you don't dance with the devil. So what was it? Were you bluffing or did you just have the card? That's for me, for me to take to my grave, fellas. Next week, boys. Next week. You got it. I'll be there. Hmm. Sure thing. Let's fucking, yeah. This is very relaxing. I sincerely doubt I will wake up with a cold sweat thinking about tonight. Keep working on that poker face, Benji. They'll say our goodbyes and head our separate ways. What the fuck, Robert? <laughs> Holy shit! Welcome. You've got dads. Oh my god, Robert! <laughs> oh god. Okay, well. That was new from all of us. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was a quick ten minutes. But damn. Is there any way that I could send... Nope, it's just they either send me something or I send them something. Uh, you know what? It was fun with with Brian. I think we might go with Matt this next round. Just to see. Because he did just offer the whole thing for Amanda to work during the summer. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, I apologize. I know it's going to be a really short episode. I'm aware of that. Y'all can shoot me in the comments. But we're going to end this one here. We'll go with Matt this next go. But, yeah, videos are still coming out once a week. Some of them, like this one, are going to be short. Others are going to be long. Well, I'm inconsistent. You all know that. We'll see you in the next one, wherever that is. The deuces. <laughs>